This is after they capture John Harrison, who they now know. I'm not sure if they know it's Khan yet. I'm not sure. But McCoy is there, and he gives an intel spill. Why aren't we moving, Captain? An unexpected malfunction, perhaps in your warp core, conveniently stranding you on the edge of Klingon space. How the hell do you know that, Bones? <sighs> Slipped. So Khan could be totally speculating there, guessing as to what's going on. Now it's confirmed. Mm -hmm. So just because he got it right doesn't mean he knows it's right. So McCoy is saying, how the hell do you know that? That's a spill. Mm -hmm. he that slept. A spill. I mean, I see why McCoy is there. He's there to take a blood sample, but he needs to be instructed to shut up, <laughs> to, to right. not say anything, not even facial expressions. Because right. for this prisoner, you really want to keep him in the dark. You really want to keep him not knowing what's going on. And right. Bone slipped. That's right. So even if he's like 70% sure that's what happened, he's now 90, 99% sure that's what happened. It's a slip. It's a slip. McCoy, strategically unwise, but I, but at the same time, I get it because McCoy, he's he's a doctor, he's mm -hmm. not a command officer, right? It's 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 um Kirk, Kirk and Spock mm -hmm. are there. They're the ones like making the intel decisions, right? So I think Kirk and Spock should have brought in a nurse or some underling who has not is not privy to that information, and it's just doing their job. Hmm. And Khan tries to get the information out of him, and they're like. I'm just I'm just taking your blood. I don't know what you want from me. Ah, uh, there it is. That's right. Yep. So I, I think everyone in the ship knows that the ship's not moving. <laughs> right. That's that's my hunch. Um, they just, they just need explicit instruction. Like, this is a person. He's very smart. He's going to try to get information out of us. We need to give him nothing. Right. Well, I mean, there's it. The ship's not moving, but there's also more confirmed in what Khan says. Oh. Can we listen one more time. He, he says more stuff. Okay, let's watch again. Why aren't we moving? Captain, an unexpected malfunction, perhaps in your warp core, conveniently stranding you on the edge of Klingon space. I saw the hell do you know that, Bones? I see. It's more than just not moving. It's the warp core statement, which Bones knows about. And he's like, how did you know that you guessed this? But actually, right. I was just speculating. And then you said I was right. Right. Because right. it could be not moving because Kirk said, I'll stop. Mm. That's true. And That's true. Yeah. And he spilled that there's a malfunction, which is a very different situation than not moving because of a decision. Bones. That's right. Bones. I guess, yeah. In the medical training, he didn't do this type of... I guess it is also Kirk's training. fault. Because he should have brought in a nurse. Or you could have had Bones have like a black pillowcase over his head and earmuffs. And so... That way Khan could not like read his expressions and ear mm -hmm. muffs. So that way he wouldn't hear what Khan's saying. That would also be good. Yeah. 